but I'd like to ask a question, uh, Dr. Miller, address it from, if I may. Um, you're an expert on right, so-called right-wing extremism, including online radicalization by right-wing extremist groups. Um, you've written several books on right-wing extremism, including Hate in the Homeland, The New Global Far Right. Um, you're a member of the Southern Poverty Law Center, the SPLC, uh, Tracking Hate and Extremism Advisory Committee. Um, I couldn't find any of your work studying uh, left extremism or Antifa or BLM. I mean, we all know Antifa and BLM riots are responsible for $2 billion on damage across American cities in 2020. And Antifa literally took over Portland and declared their own autonomous zone. Um, so I'm just, I'm just wondering, uh, how do you consider your organization Peril and uh, a good source of informing people on what they should believe and not believe when you do no study whatsoever into left extremism? Thank you for the question. We, um, I'm an expert on the far right because I spent the first 20 years of my career working in Germany in the post-Holocaust, post-unification surge of far right extremism. And I know you have a hearing on Tuesday on uh, far left extremism. Yeah, which but Dr. Was, Miller addressed, just to let you know, this is America. We're, we're not Nazi Germany. Yeah, I absolutely agree. But that's how when I pivoted here, the first time I was asked to testify was about that evidence that I had learned from what uh, Germany uh, had been doing, and then that became relevant here for policymakers. Um, but we, uh, we, we don't, first of all, just to, to, to respond to your query about what we teach people, we don't teach people anything. We are just looking at how, helping them understand what the tactics of manipulation on, are online so they can make better decisions. Um, we have experts who do uh, work on environmental extremism. We have experts who work on Islamist forms of extremism. But because both under the Trump administration and the Biden administration, the emphasis has been right now on the greatest, um, most lethal threat, which has been determined to be far right, meaning white supremacist extremism and um, unlawful militias. Well, That's Dr. Miller, just, just real quick, I'm, I'm out of time, but would you consider Trump, ex Trump supporters extremists? We are worried about violent extremism, so that to the extent, not about what people believe, but to the extent that they are moving toward violence. Trump supporters, specifically. If they're calling for violence, it doesn't matter to me who they support. I haven't seen any. By the way, there's a great rally in Iowa this weekend. If you want to study uh, people on the right and what they believe, General, you'll find secure borders, freedom of speech. Gentlewoman's um, time. No Thank crime. You Thank you. Time I yield has back. expired. I wrote